See the fine. No, see, it was fine. It was just a bad trip. That's all. We haven't moved even a single inch from where we started. And somehow they landed with all their limbs attached. Look, the they bridge did. is a hole again. If you ask me, the oh. bridge is a still hole. Oh, the bridge is intact. Time when this whole place what does that mean? Intact. We've travelled back in time. <laughs> Do you really think so? <laughs> Melanie, oh, Melanie oh, in the script. Oh, look, the bridges are intact. Brent. Hmm, it seems we see we've travelled in time to a place where the bridges are intact. They look like soldiers. No panic. Let's find out what they want. Those are the two most badly rendered people I've ever seen. I did not realise they were human people. But maybe they weren't. Oh, maybe they just weren't. Oh, fake. of course. They put her in the kitchen. Yes. I mean, come on, it's a 13th century bird, but should be thankful she's not in the lake oh, being no. tried to see no, if she's a witch. Nothing. Damn, where am I? Looks like a kitchen. My God. <laughs> so, so after all that, we've now gone back in time to the time when apparently this druid ritual was happening to begin with. Right. Okay. Yeah, so so and this is where the vast majority of the game is now set. This is essentially the, the vast majority of the game. It's like how we're not done yet. <laughs> I know that's that's the worst part. Essentially, is that this is essentially the the middle of Act Two, not even Act Three. Oh, right. We've got some sort of broken scales. Got some mm -hmm. pots and pans. See, I know kitchen stuff. Excellent. Or maybe a herb. It smells of menthol. Dried Let's see what else we got. I don't know which plant they come from. This herb smells of cinnamon. So we're gonna make up our we're gonna make up something infusion-y, apparently. Yeah. Plant. That smells of aniseed. This weed feels strange, almost like a sponge. Mm, these jugs smell good. There must be herbs or spices in them. We can only take six of them though at a time. Our pockets can only get so uh, so more pungent. So yeah, so then we have a whole of the spices just like ruminating in our back pocket. Nice pot there, seemingly uh, giving us some uh, nice hot water. Some sort of cold. I don't imagine now, this is something I have thought for like ever since I've read like fairy tales back in the day. But mm -hmm. I'd imagine soup being made in one of them would be unreal soup. <laughs> I'd like to think so, anyway. Or maybe like, it, it, I would it, like cauldron soup. If anyone out there watching this knows of somewhere that does cauldrons specifically for cauldron soup which is <laughs> i know a thing i've just made up but <laughs> you know let me know let me know in the comments <laughs> if you happen to be a witch living in a forest hut give us a call uh burpa wants to visit your house <laughs> and uh, make some soup just in your to call. try your soup <laughs> just try your soup nothing else now and if you do it start any doing any weird no more stuff. funny business you know <laughs> <laughs> none of your witchery if you start, if you start uh, asking for all you have nuke now, we're leaving. So you can see there that the we got a recipe book, but the uh, the recipe is in very clearly like you know, like primitive English. Yeah. So the puzzle as well is to try and like see what recipe we need, and also to try and make sense of it. That's a wooden bowl. <laughs> the music is so shit like uh -huh. it's, it, it, it can't it can't help itself because like it's gone for this kind of like you know obviously like time like music of the time the trumpets and all the stuff and then it just goes at the end as if to have it's making like oh but you're from the future type of shit oh look you guys are fully rendered in now that's great we worry about you look john the danish hall's woken up oh we're danish oh 
Oh. Who are you? We are King Ethelred's soldiers. We protect his kingdom from scum like you. Danish scum, indeed. What have you done to Brent? Do you hear that, John? She wants to know what you did to the lad that was with her. Oh, oh shocking. She's worried about him. You must like him a lot, hey, John. What did you do to the poor man? I just chopped off his ears. He still don't look bad. <laughs> oh, what? You monsters! Now, now. John's in a good mood today. He always jokes around when he's in a mood like that. I mean, Friends considering the time that we're in, the these two lads are the most progressive what people that ever lived because they're actually talking to a woman. Us what day your yeah. king's planning to start his invasion, he won't be feeling too good. Uh, and he lose a few more body parts than just his ears. Depend on it. As you can see there, um, the voice actor's take on he the English is absolutely spot on. Oh, I think well, he's going to uh, lose a little bit of an H here and there, because that's how other people talk, you know? Hey, you! Stop parroting every word I say! A fool. Don't you call me a fool. Hmm. Very well. So, yes. How am I a fool? My accent is more historically he accurate. They hardly knew what a parrot was, even to use that as a verb. What yep, exactly. I know of an invasion stop, cro stop, stop magpieing me. Well what I'm talking about. The next yeah. Danish invasion. But I promise you this. This time, King Ethelred will be... You're a big fan of Horrible Histories, Burp. Do you remember that episode when they talked about the Danish invasion of England? Um, Listen no. To me. I am <laughs> yeah, because it didn't Turner. fucking happen. Oh, right, okay. Be too I'm sure you, I Danish people Complex didn't exist it. even back then. Kind of a word. They were definitely not. No, no, no as in, like, not as a... Uh, you know, it was a whole different country then. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious enough, know, in the autumn of 1016, the Danish prince, Count the Great, <laughs> successfully invaded England. <laughs> C-N-U-T Yeah Knuts invasion of England Yeah, there you go <laughs> Okay They conquered England in 1016 Yes, I suppose I must look strange to you But I can explain There's no need for that We know all about you And of course the Danes uh, invaded uh, Ireland uh, Before that as well, so in 795. Yeah. Now, of course, when I say Danish, I actually mean Vikings. So, important to note. Ah, oh, company. And what exactly do you call company? <laughs> you'll soon find out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you dare touch me, I swear I'll scratch your eyes out. And I swear. Or, you know, punch him in the face, maybe. The you know? About what you two are doing here, you will die, both of you. So, I mean, I, I'm not, not to say that we're going to outsmart you, but you're not even animated properly, so I, I fancy your chances. What's that supposed to be? We found you at Twelve Bridges. Don't you know what kind of a place Twelve Bridges is? Uh, we know exactly what kind of a place Twelve Bridges is. It's a forbidden place, a heathen place of worship. We Christians must Aha. not enter it. It is only for heathens like you. But you must let us Okay, know. so you've got Christians, no Danes, and Druids knocking about in this area. Important. It's a real war, I suppose. a real melting pot here we have. Forget it, Hussey. Maybe you can put them all in so a cauldron. multicultural. Yeah, we can make a nice multicultural soup of that, you know? Stop your grumbling. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really want to see. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything that we can take away from this recording oh, is that we've given you a hunger for soup. Yeah. What are you specifically called on soup? Never seen a woman before. <laughs> what she mean, Thomas? She means you're a fool. <laughs> Not to self, buy a cauldron. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now, what is it? Where are drinks? Hey, yeah, exactly. I couldn't but that's, find that's, that's the conversation we're having. We need, get, we need to get a cauldron oh, just for God, soup. You know. <laughs> So I'm going to look into this after this. Do let, let us know. Let us know if you find anything. If, he, if Woody's have a deal on, let us know. Yeah. The light of so and so. Do you want her to escape? What a fool you are! Don't call me a fool. Then don't be a fool. Then I won't call you. Ah, the more arguments. 
Don't call the com me. The comedy oh, silence of John and me. the other what guy. What do you want? What do you want me to get to? I don't care. Damn it. Think of something. Bring Christian Volcott, number two. Bring us yeah. We'll go and buy like, some the only... The, incidentally, I think... And this is only a tweaking with me now, considering the design of the characters. I think these two are actually meant to be the other detectives from Scotland Yard. The guy with the brown hair, hair I think, is actually meant to be, mass, is to be Inspector Miller. And the guy with the blonde hair is meant to be Larry. And I'm only saying that because I think the voice actors are the same. And just the guy's line delivery there was very, very much like the uh, the Chief Inspector. Yeah. And clearly the other guy is hovering over his chair. So that's clearly Larry. <laughs> very true. You know, so yeah. See, they want us. They want us to make a, a, make a, make them a drink. That's what they want so from us. Barrels. They're empty. So let's poison them. Yes, exactly. You got the right idea, because clearly these very progressive eleventh century men trust women to uh, to make their their food and drink for them, because Storage women barrels. could never betray or uh, deceit Storage deceive barrels. anybody. They're empty. I'd say this is water. She's good, isn't she? Because mm. looking really quick to the thirst, like some hot water. <laughs> Storage barrels, they're empty. Okay, so here we go. That's our, so we have our we have some scales, mm. and uh, this is obviously going to be. Uh, Crucial to making a uh, a special brew for our friends in the other room. Medieval book of recipes. Let's see what it says. So, strange sleeping drink. Okay, so that's where it's um. So you can see there that the it's not very descriptive, of uh, of what you want. So essentially, what you need to do is with the six herbs that you've been given, right? You need to make a mix of each one and see what color it develops, and then you'll know which one was which, and then you can make up the drink and serve them. Oh right, okay. So that's the puzzle basically. So it actually does require you to check each one of them and identify what color they become. And then you can mix the two together then and well, make make up the recipe as intended. But of course, you have to make it in the right order because then you need the actual, the right color to appear and all this sort of nonsense. So. Well, what can I get you? In God's name, stop asking stupid questions. Wine and meat. Some wine and yeah. Meat and hurry. Yes, very well. Yeah. So you see, even that character there, I think, is 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 clearly written like Miller. Like mm. it's 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 like he's an equivalent, you know. I could offer you something better than that. Oh yes, and what might that be? A love potion by my own recipe. Oh well. Danish love potions? I heard you Vikings ride like mad. That, that sounds excellent. Surely they would be wary of this and not want her to come near her with a potion. No, no, you see, these are medieval uh, medieval men. Their brains haven't fully developed yet, you see. This is the thing. They're 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 so um they're, they're so uneducated and underdeveloped that they'll totally trust a strange concoction made by a Danish invader, you know? You know, that's probably how they got invaded in the first place. Just all these strange cauldron soups just popped up everywhere. They started having some. They all died. Coincidence. No, no, historically accurate, actually. You just don't want to, you just don't want to bad talk uh, cauldron soup. That's what's wrong with you. Yeah. You're not willing to accept cauldron soup out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You don't want me to uh, make you start dis uh, distrusting um, cauldrons. Is that the idea? Oh, what have we just taken there? Coins. We just took a bag of silver because when we came back in and out, they were celebrating the fact that they had got um, so they got basically got paid for guarding the door. So we nicked one of their. You know who'd pieces. love that? You know who'd love that? The librarian. Yeah, well, do you know what? That 
<laughs> That's her fault. She should have followed us to twelve bridges. You know? There's some liquid in it. I can't. I don't see Mrs. Owen fucking. All right. To be fair, if Mrs. Owen did travel with us here, she'd be the first to die because she just would not stop arguing. She just continued to uh, to to be moaning and no, you can't do that. No, you you, you, you can't move those herbs. No, it, that's a reserve herb. You can't you, you can't take that. Why don't you just hand mix the recipe yourself? Uh -huh. Yeah. So the silver is basically it's 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 intended to balance out the users uh, balance essentially. So. If you have, like, say, when you uh, put the when you put the uh, the scale in and you put the water in, that's the herb is going to balance out essentially. So you see there, it's a uh, right. It's, uh, okay. There's a little bit of physics going on here, as you can tell. So yeah, so unfortunately, with all the six herbs we have, we need to start mixing and matching and experimenting. Dabbling, this indeed. Because, like uh, yeah, Maybe this is uh, a herb. this is really something that kills the tension in the game, doesn't it? Like, Halligan's out there bleeding away from his ears being chopped off, and mm. uh, now we have just time to make a nice brew. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly one ounce of the herb. So yeah, so that's that's what's happened there now. We're actually me we're weighing it, we're measuring out the the herb each time. Right. Okay. Turn the water whitish. Looks almost like milk. So I think that was the men that was the minty one that we had. So we know that kind of makes a, a whitish color. So again, so with a lot of the ingredient, a lot of the recipes basically describe colors, and then some of them are like, oh, and the spongy one is uh, you have to have to try put the spongy one in here. You know the kind of th kind of way. Yeah. So, so that's basically what you have to do, and then you keep track of like which um, which uh, herb equates to each, which color. And again, some of it, like I think for one of the two of the recipes, it's a bit guesswork because they don't actually adequately describe what color it is, or say the color is like too close together. And yes, you have to do this six times. Oh Christ. So you have to, you know, empty out the bowl, fill it back up with water, check the herb again, and keep going until you get to make the secret recipe. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, again, lesson two in how to kill the tension of a video game, a puzzle like fucking this. <laughs> my God. Like, awful. But um, we will, we, when we come back on Mystery of the Druids, we will, uh, we will figure <laughs> out... More cooking! More cooking, yes. Let's cook with uh, with Melanie Turner. Um, the answer to Nigella Lawson we never wanted. But until then, good night, everybody. <laughs> good night.